Mike's Comet Salon. And that time was a great time for, for, for music, for poetry, for literature, for fashion. Um, it, it, a lot of the stuff that took place during the Harlem Renaissance is relevant today. And honestly, me personally and African Americans everywhere has the Harlem Renaissance to thank for a lot that's going on today. But the one thing that comes to mind uh, when it comes to Harlem Renaissance is my grandfather, because he was a big part of it. Even though he's never been to Harlem in his life, he's, his dream was to go to the Cotton Club and to party and to dance, and he never got that opportunity. But I am happy to say that he will have that opportunity um, to watch me uh, perform at the Cotton Club, you know, Blue Monday in June. And it almost brings a tear to my eye because he told me that it's, it's just amazing. The first time going to the Cotton Club is to watch my grandson perform, you know, and it's, it, it, it got me real emotional, you know, and uh, it's kind of hard to get me emotional, <laughs> you know, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, Mike is pretty much your man's man. You know, he runs the club, but, you know, he tries to keep everything level uh, while secretly running a numbers and drug, you know, business, you know, secretly. Um, you know, there's nothing much to him. He's just your regular guy, you know, and I can kind of relate to him because I feel like sometimes I'm a boss. And, you know, but he has a kind heart, too. He's, he's friends with everyone. But, you know, he, you know, business is business and business always comes first to him. If I have to narrow it down to one, uh, when I, I'm an Osro, Naida. Um, that was fun. I had a blast um, doing that role. But one day I really wanted the, the next one to be Scarpia. That's the dream role of mine. So if I ever get that opportunity, I'm taking it. I like being the bad guy. I don't know something about that. I'm really, I'm a, I'm a teddy bear, but as far as the stage, I love being the bad guy. Quite frankly, it's, it's, it's a dream come true. Um, I've always wanted, first of all, to come here. Second of all, to perform here. It's, it's you know, I, I, I really don't know how to explain it in words other than just excited, thrilled, I'm, I'm kind of, impatient. I really want this to happen now. Um, and it's just a, such a wonderful city to perform and the arts are all around. You get inspired just from being here, you know, and I'm just so excited and privileged to, to finally have this opportunity.